Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Monia. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, and welcome back. If you've subscribed, you're near and dear to my heart and you are here for me. Today, we're gonna to be doing a first impression and wear test on the Ilia, the Super Serum Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen. So, Ilia is one of the clean products listed on Sephora's website, and this is supposed to be like a sheer um, coverage, kind of like a BB CC cream, but not really. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a brief low down, give you the deets on this baddie over here. So a little bit about this product. So it is a clean brand listed on Sephora's website and this is listed for $46 for one ounce. It's a clean tinted mineral SPF serum with light dewy coverage that protects, sorry, that provides skincare benefits. The coverage is light, the finish is natural, the formulation is liquid. It's good for normal dry combination oily skin. And it has some highlighted ingredients, which I was pretty excited about. I love when they always incorporate like skincare into um, like foundation or concealer specifically. Some of the highlighted ingredients are plant-based squalene, which helps support skin and improves the appearance of elasticity. Non-nano zinc oxide, a clean mineral sunscreen that safely shields skin from UVA, UVB, UVC, blue light, and infrared. Hydrolonic acids, which are micro and macro, helps to visibly plump and seal in hydration, and niacinamide, which visibly improves and smooths skin texture. So niacinamide is probably one of the more popular skincare ingredients and in skincare regimen products, so it's exciting to see it in makeup as well. Um, that's more for like fine lines, wrinkles, so if you know you're trying to be proactive about it or if you just are a little bit older and you want to start taking care of that piece or focus on that aspect this will definitely just add a little extra oomph to your skincare regimen so oh and i got the color st3 balos which is light with neutral cool undertones if you guys have been watching my videos i've been getting these neutral undertones and they are coming out yellow like the simpsons and i cannot handle it it's driving me nuts. So hopefully this will not be a flop in regards to matching my skin tone. Um, just a little bit more information that I found in the package. It says it's a silicone and fragrance free tinted serum. Um, it says it has 6% of the squalene and 2% of the niacinamide, which is not listed on the Sephora website. So let's go ahead and put it on. Okay. So I'm going to start off with three drops and see how much that gets me. It's like a heavy bottle, very luxurious, very simple, minimalistic, modern, my vibe. Um, and this right here matches the actual color of the serums. Okay, so that was just three drops. Um, I think that's the perfect amount. I think it got everything covered. It gave me a light coverage. Now, I probably would pro get a darker shade just to, I feel like it lightened me a little bit, but it's also, it doesn't matter for me. Um, it didn't make that much of a difference and the coverage really is very, very sheer. So like sheer, 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 maybe a touch of lightness, but I would definitely say it's more sheer than light. Light, I feel like gives you some coverage, but as you can see here, I've been breaking out and it really didn't do much of a difference. And you can still see some skin discoloration um, elsewhere on my um, skin. Um, but again, it said it was light, so I wasn't really expecting it for that piece. The application, it was kind of thick. It doesn't have a scent. So I do notice a little bit of like flaky pieces on my chin. It's really just by the chin. It's not anywhere else. So I'm not sure what that is. Applying evenly, smoothly. It did not feel heavy or greasy. It's it's like it said, it's natural finish. Um, the consistency is like thick. Obviously when I dropped it, it was like a thick glob, but it like really blended nicely into the skin and my skin just soaked it up. So it wasn't, um, it was a little bit streaky in the areas where I applied too much. So like on the forehead, you saw it kind of turned like a little bit whiter. But then once I kind of put it on my chin and my nose where I didn't have enough from the cheeks that I put on, um, it worked well. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead, finish the rest of my makeup and just see how it works with everything else. And then 
do a wear test later on and give you some thoughts about the product. All right, all right. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back. It has been six. It has been eight hours since I have put on the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. And I really do, I think it wore really, really well. I have zero complaints. It did not fall into any of my fine lines. It worked well with other products. And I mean, just the application itself, like just expecting a sheer coverage serum slash SPF. So for a serum or like skincare makeup product, I think this is really great. Um, it gives you really good skincare benefits, but it also protects you from the sun, so it's preventative care. And it gives you a light sheer coverage. Is the coverage like enough to give you a light coverage? No, it's more very sheer. So don't expect it to like help with eliminating any discoloration on either in skin tone or scarring. Um, you're definitely gonna have to use concealer or foundation afterwards to take care of those bits. I really like it. I think it is a beautiful product and it works really well. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some on my forehead just to see how it works if you were to choose to reapply it after every two hours or so. The application of it, it's very clean. Like it doesn't get all over the place. Okay, let's see how this works. So if you apply this on top of makeup, it will move any conceal. Like I put spot concealing on my um, acne over here or my breakout and it did remove the concealer on top that was there prior. So you probably most likely can't, you will not be able to apply this on top of makeup that you've already put on for the day. But for the most part, I only put concealer so I can definitely like work it around my nose, my forehead and my chin, which probably get hit by the sun the most. And then maybe just a little bit underneath my cheekbone. Outside of that, I have no complaints and I really do like this product. So if you're looking for something luxurious and clean at Sephora, especially right now while they're having their uh, spring sale, definitely check it out because it will be worth your money. And I really like the brand too. It's a pretty cool brand. It's a new brand, first product that I've tried from them, but I really like it. So that being said, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, drop a comment, let me know if you've tried any other of their products that you'd want me to check out or you just recommend in general. I would love to check them out and just um, see if it's gonna be a part of my makeup routine. And share the love, spread the love, hit that ring bell, make sure that you are getting notified ASAP about my videos. All right, guys, until the next one, bye. Damn, I'm gonna need a fucking man. Someone who love me like a fan. I'm gonna need someone who love me like I love me, love me like I can. Damn, I'm gonna need a fucking man. Someone who love me like a fan. I'm gonna need someone who love me like I love me, love me.